Oh yeah, man. I'm gonna make this little video about um, Javante Davis and um, Mario Barrios um, fight coming up in next month on the 26th. It's gonna be a um, very good fight, but I'm I'm picking Javante Davis by knockout. I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain why. Mario Barrios is a big, long, rangy guy with a good jab and a little bit of pop in it, a little bit of pop in his punch. But the whole thing is not going to be about it's not going to be about his his um, Mario Barrios jab and his tall, lanky ranginess. It's it's going to be this fight is going to go down to Javante Davis' speed and ability to make um Mario Barrios miss and make him pay. Mario Barrios going to have hard time finding Javante Davis in the ring. This is going to be a different Javante Davis that y'all see. He's not going to be just this come forward, take 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 one, take one or two to get get his off. No, I believe he's going to break him he's going to start breaking them down very early. Once he get his time, once he get Mario, it's going to take like two to three rounds to figure him out. And once Javante Davis get his timing down, it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard for um, Mario to, to find him in the ring. I think they're going to focus more on defense, frustrating, frustrating um, Mario, and give him a whole lot of angles, a whole lot of angles. And I think Javante Davis is going to use his quick and speedy jab. And it's gonna and open them up. You know how you know how with Calvin. Calvin is a body specialist. He gonna open them up to the body and get them out of there probably around the, the eighth or the ninth. But it can be it can go totally different. It all depends on Mario's game plan. If if he could keep Javante Davis on the outside and make it hard for him to get him, get inside, then it's gonna be a long night for um Javante Davis. But I see. Davis breaking Mario Burrows down. I think the, the speed and the power, even at 140, is going to be a little too much because I believe they're going to put him on a whole lot of angles. They're going to turn him up, turn him, make him keep on resetting, keep resetting and resetting. And once he and once he once he hit him and he can't reach him, I believe Burrows going Mario going to get frustrated. And uh, Javante Davis going to catch him with something that he don't see. He going to catch him with something he don't see. And it's going to be nice out. But the way Javante Davis been setting up his traps the last few fights is not going to be able to work with with Mario, with Mario because he got power. And Javante Davis ain't going to afford. He's not going to be able to afford to drop his guards and take a lot of clean shots like he did with Leo. He gonna to have to be more focused. He gonna to have to be more focused and more dedicated to the body. And and um and I believe those shots is gonna open up. I believe Javante Davis is gonna um make make very make Mario Barrios pick his feet up a lot. I believe he's gonna use more lateral movement this fight. Frustrate Mario and then it's going and then 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 um get him out of there. But it's it's still all in all it's still gonna be a tough fight because of how big how big a person Mario is to Javante. He's still he's still five four. I don't care how many how much skills you have, you still five four fighting at a hundred and forty pounds. So he gotta make he gotta make speed he gotta make speed and angles be the key to this fight. Speed and angle is going to be the key to Javante Davis' um, knockout on Mario Burrows. I believe it's going to be a mess. I believe it's going to be a mess. It's going to be a masterpiece. But the kid gonna have to box. He gonna have to box all all the rounds. No plan around. Discipline. He picked this guy for a reason. That's all I gotta say. Support the channel, y'all.